Russian President Vladimir Putin lights a candle Sunday in memory of the victims of a mass killing at a music venue outside Moscow. Mourners lay flowers at a makeshift memorial at Crocus City Hall, the site of the deadliest attack in Russia in 20 years. Flags flew at half-staff at the Kremlin as Putin declared a day of mourning. It all started Friday at Crocus City Hall, a suburban Moscow music venue where gunmen stormed the building with automatic weapons and, according to Russian investigators, then used a flammable liquid to set the facility ablaze. Authorities say they've detained 11 people suspected in the attack, bringing them to the Russian Investigative Committee headquarters in Moscow. Little was left of Crocus City Hall by the time rescue workers began digging through debris. U.S. officials have said the Islamic State terror group's Afghan affiliate, known as Islamic State Khorasan, was behind the attack. But inside the Kremlin, officials began accusing Ukraine of involvement. Putin addressed the nation and, without evidence, said the attackers were moving towards Ukraine and that a passage was prepared for them on the Ukrainian side to cross the border. It is a claim refuted by U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris. No, there is no whatsoever any evidence. And in fact, what we know to be the case is that ISIS-K is actually, um, by all accounts, responsible for what happened. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said, quote, Putin and other scumbags are just trying to find someone else to blame, adding that Russian forces invading his country could have stopped such a deadly attack if not preoccupied by war. Russian investigators say they found weapons and other evidence linked to the attackers as they begin the process of piecing together the night's events. And while much of the recent news outside Russian embassies and consulates focused on the still mysterious death of opposition leader Alexei Navalny, at the embassy in Serbia, people laid flowers, lit candles, and signed a book of condolences. The United Arab Emirates illuminated iconic buildings with the Russian flag in solidarity with the night's growing list of victims. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.